Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you Capricorn. If you are here and you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's going on in your present energy, Capricorn. Very concise messages for Capricorn, please. Clear and concise messages for Capricorn. We have playfulness, trust, and getting to know each other. So this is light energy, you know, this is um, enjoying spending time with someone. This can also just indicate that you're just having fun, that you're in a lighthearted mood. Um, good energy, Capricorn. You have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. But something is testing you. Something is testing you. And there's some uncertainty, some uncertainty. I have getting to know each other. All right, guys. So, you know, you may be developing a relationship with someone, building a foundation, um, taking some time right now to talk to someone on the phone, getting to know each other. What's your middle name? <laughs> What's your favorite color? When is your birthday? Coke or Pepsi? <laughs> so you guys may be in a honeymoon stage with someone we have attraction this came out when I was shuffling so you are attracted to someone Capricorn there's some good vibes here with someone this person could be um, younger than you We have healing family issues. Okay, so there's something going on. Oh no. Okay, I don't know what to do. So many cards came out. I feel like I need to take them all. But that's a lot of cards. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We have soulmate. Okay, guys, so this is a soulmate. Okay, new love. Okay, guys, so you could be with your soulmate currently, or if you are single and looking for love, your soulmate could be coming in. Worth waiting for. Divine has been um, trying to put the two of you together. They've been working on some things. All right, what else? You deserve love. You deserve love. So this was a divinely guided relationship. I have romantic feelings. This is new energy, guys. I have new energy here for someone. We'll see what happens. We have release your ex. So we may have a possible separation here or someone may be holding on to their ex's energy by wanting them to come back in or, you know, doing a lot of thinking about them daydreaming about them, fantasizing. I have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I'm getting to know each other again. I doubled this deck, guys. So you got that twice. So you guys are either interacting with someone new or someone new is coming in. You have true love twice. This is the romance of a lifetime. Calling in my soulmate. You guys have been manifesting a soulmate. And aha, here they are. Your manifestations work. But I also have unrequited love here. That's a one-sided love. One person is madly in love and one person is not. Guys, I've only been getting like three or four messages with this deck. 
You guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have sixteen cards here. Sixteen cards. <laughs> and on the bottom of the deck is religious factors, which is the Hierophant card. So at the center of all of this, this is something to do with values, beliefs, stability, connection, being possibly in a relationship or a marriage or just being part of a family, especially with family, healing family issues coming out. All right, Capricorn, let's keep rolling. Let's see what messages need to come out for Capricorn. All right. First card out is envy. All right, people may be hating on you, Capricorn. Envious of you. Or you could be envious of someone else. I have indecision. You trying to figure something out here, Capricorn. What you trying to figure out? Hmm. Let's keep going. You have abundance. Okay, guys, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So you guys are a magician, magician energy. Although that's Virgo and Gemini, that's what you've been doing, guys. You've been manifesting. You've been manifesting a soulmate and I feel like you guys have been working on other things in your life as well. I have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. That sounds like a tower moment to me, guys. That sounds like hermit energy. You guys are finally understanding the truth of something. I have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Okay, guys. This is being accountable. Being accountable for your own mistakes. Being accountable for where you are. But being at peace. I feel peace here. But it's something that you guys are sitting in indecision about. And we'll have to figure out and see if why we can figure out why envy is here. On the bottom of the deck, we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. That's choice, free will. We have free will, guys. We have the opportunity to do whatever it is that we like. Whatever it is that we like, we may not <laughs> can control the outcome, but you most certainly can do whatever it is that you like. All right, well, let's get some messages, Capricorn, and see why these messages are here. There's a lot of mixed emotions here, guys. There's someone coming to terms with something, no longer blaming anyone. Just truly accepting things the way that they are, surrendering. Capricorn, clearing precise messages for Capricorn, please. This abundance could also be this soulmate coming in, guys, but abundance, you know, it could be something monetary as well. We'll see what comes out in the tarot. But whatever abundance is for you, what is your desire, Capricorn? Whatever that desire is, that's that's the abundance. It could be a certain position. It could be to own your own business, to own your own home. To find a solid relationship, to have peace. Anything can be your abundance. First card wanting to come out is the offer. There it is. The Ace of Pentacles. 
There's some offer coming in here for you, Capricorn. Let's just put Capricorn. This could be, like I said, something material, a material offering, um, a job promotion, a raise. This could be your um, your income tax return. This could be some check coming in. Um, taking a job that pays more. This also could indicate an offer of commitment as well. And we have another offer here, but this is the indecision, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. So it's something to do, it's a decision that you're trying to make. Um, mm. Oh, wow, y'all. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, first of all, you have this Five of Cups here. So there's some sadness and there's some disappointment here. And I just saw the Star card. Somebody makes you very happy, Capricorn. But I have two queens here. And I have the Nine and the Ten of Cups. This is some, a lot of emotions are here. There are a lot of emotions here. Okay, so we're gonna keep going, but these two queens could be two separate people or one of these queens could be your energy or both of these queens could be your energy. But um, whatever this is about, this is about your, 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 you know, you working really hard. Like I see you working to get your happiness. Like that's been your focus. You're focused on your money. You know what you want with this Queen of Wands energy. You're determined. And you have the Nine and the Ten of Cups. Wow. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna leave these out because we need to clarify that. But let's keep going with your regular reading. We're gonna come back to these two queens. We're gonna let them sit over there and socialize. <laughs> and let them be happy. <laughs> All right. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, we have a page of swords. So this is some type of communication. This can also indicate trying to seek clarity, trying to make this decision. And I have another offer on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. Okay, guys. All right. So you have something, some stable, a stable offer here, something that you're passionate about. This could indicate two different offers. You could have a financial offer coming in or an offer in your career and an offer in love. But either way, you're passionate about both of them. But I have the two of cups in reverse and the two of wands in reverse. That is indecision. And that was, as you said... We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. This is, you know, do I make an investment in something? Which, which do I invest in? Which do I invest in? Four of wands on the bottom of the deck. This is about your home life. Your family, um, the way your family is now may not be how you envisioned it. You know, maybe you are um, single and you, you maybe you thought that you would be married now or at least in a relationship with someone. If you are in a connection and, you know, there's been arguments and disagreements with this uh, Ace of Swords, you know, maybe you guys are just at a, a stale part point of the relationship. But something is out of order at home. And here we are with this indecision again, the Two of Swords. Guys, I have swords, swords, and more swords. You know, on the board, we have pinnacles and swords. This is about doing a lot of thinking about my commitment, my future, my legacy. Doing a lot of thinking. There's a lot of communication here. Some of it is good. Some of it is not. But this is indecision. This is either I'm, I don't know what decision to make or I'm, I'm not going to make a decision. I don't want to deal with this. Page of Wands in reverse. Oh, just stuck. All right, Capricorn. Ooh, 
we have another offer, guys. The Page of Pentacles. Again, this is business related, financial related, or a commitment. I got temperance on the bottom of the deck. Somebody is getting impatient. Capricorn. I have the four of pentacles, more pentacles. Some of you may be saving your money. Some um, I'm, I'm also hearing um, repairing, repairing your finances. You guys could be working right now to repair your finances. Mm, what is going on here? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Six of Coins in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, this is love lost for me. This can indicate a, a breakup, but it's not necessarily. It could just mean that, you know, things are stuck out of order. But I do see death, but it's in the reverse. All right, let's keep going. We have a five of swords, more swords. This can end up, um, mean that, you know, you are battling yourself internally. You don't know what to do. And I have the Knight of Swords. You can't get a game plan together. You don't know which way to go. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. What are you trying to make this decision on? Messages for Capricorn. And I don't usually shuffle this much, guys. Like, I shuffle a lot, yes. But I'm shuffling. I'm being told to shuffle in between each one of your cards. Don't know why, but we're going to go with it. But this is not normally how it accept the cards. Everything about your reading has just been abnormal. <laughs> Out of order. <laughs> I have the devil in reverse. You have shown up, Capricorn. It's something that you guys are letting go of. Hmm. Something that you may have felt very strongly attached to almost to the point of obsession. But now, I feel like you guys are, are getting it together. I have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is about working with somebody. I have the Three, the Seven, and the Four of Pentacles. The Three, the Four, and the Seven. So far, the Five and the Six have not hit the board. We're gonna keep going to see what's happening with this. Okay, the Three of Pentacles came back out. Work, 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 work. This is about money, 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 money. This Three of Pentacles could also indicate a, a, a interference in the connection, whether that's a person a family member, you know, working too much. But I got these two queens over here. They are the working queens. So this could be, you know, some conflict about work, but it could again be about a relationship. But my worry here so far over here on the bottom of the deck, I do have the nine and the 10 of cups, right? That's the love. This is something that you are emotionally attached to. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards out here already on the board, and I don't have any cups. All I have are pinnacles, swords, and one major arcana card, which is about detaching, letting go, freeing yourself from something. That's like the biggest theme that's going on in your life right now. Capricorn. We have the Hermit in reverse. You know, that's the energy of being stuck. You've been trying to make this decision, but you've been sitting in that energy for too long. It's something that you're not letting go of here. 
something isn't moving. I got a four, it's four of pentacles. Something isn't moving. The three and the four of pentacles, but wanting something to grow and expand, trying to make something work, trying to do better, be better. Mm, Capricorn. On the bottom of the deck, I have the seven of wands. And we have the six of cups. Okay, so that's, you know, injustice. This is fighting for what you want, Capricorn. You're putting in work on something. I have the eight of coins. There go more coins. But I have the knight of wands, the two of cups in reverse, and the king of wands in reverse. And I have a queen of cups. Oh, wow. For some of you, this is a couple. And things aren't going well. And you may have, you know, like a teenage son or a teenage daughter. I'm also seeing like maybe you guys are trying to come up with like a custody arrangement here with justice being here doing like a 50-50 split in custody and, you know, taking care of the child. I have the six of cups here. And then, it's, you know, you could be having to like defend yourself in court. I feel like if this is your um, message, I have a male energy here who is in the reverse. If this was a third party um, interference, this was the, the male energy that, um, that cheated. The female energy. Is not the offender. Well, I take that back. Well, I don't know. It could go either way, guys. It could go either way. But somebody has hope. I keep seeing the star card. All right, so let's um, get another date. Let's go in and clarify a few cards and see why these messages are here. All right, I almost dropped this card, guys, and it's the Ace of Swords in reverse. That's indecision, not being clear about something. Messages for Capricorn. Let's go in and clarify this Ace of Swords. This indecision, this stuckness, what is this conflict? What do we need to know about that for Capricorn? All right, why is the Five of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse in the heart of here? What is this indecision about? The five of wands. I am just getting more, so more energy of that. This is inner conflict. I, you, you know, you and your person could be having arguments, but I don't have like the Ten of Wands or the Ten of Swords. I have minor disagreements, minor arguments, minor things that we, you know, may need to overcome. And maybe sometimes we get in our feelings and we pull back our energy from each other. But again, if it's, if this, if you aren't here for love, this is about inner conflict. Why? indecision here wanting something to be successful i'm working on something six of wands i'm working on something and i want to be recognized i want to be recognized i want people to recognize my hard work wanting something to be successful on the bottom of the deck i have the ten of pentacles about family stability long-term security a relationship, a family. Lots of faces over here. 
Capricorn. Page of Cups. Here's the offer, guys. This is an, um, something that you're emotionally tied to. I have the Four of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Okay, guys, so you have the Four of Pentacles right here in the upright. What's to come is you are finally going to be able to make this decision. You're finally going to let go of what, whatever this is that is holding you back. It's, you, the energy is going to shift here. Have the Hierophant in reverse. That's why religious factors is on the bottom of the deck. This is either a relationship, a marriage that is out of order, or there's something different that you're wanting to, to do differently here. And by that, I mean, you know, um, whatever most people expect of you, you may want to do something like really totally out of the box, whether that's in business or, you know, maybe you're trying to go into some alternative relationship over here with these two queens and the nine of ten of cups. Maybe this is a happy family. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> Have the two of swords refusing to make that decision. What is it? Knight of Wands, something that you're very passionate about, wanting to pursue, taking a risk. Taking a risk, but not making a decision, not making plans, not planning properly. Being foolish, possibly in the relationship, if this is about love. There's imbalance here, Six of Cups in reverse. But there's an energy shift. Here's my energy shift, guys. Eight of Wands. If you've been stuck, guys, something's coming in to change that energy. And they're showing me that hangman with the Eight of Wands. This energy is getting ready to shift. Yep. You've been stuck. You've been not taking the lead. The Emperor is in reverse. Stuck in indecision. There's the confusion. I see it coming to an end. Okay, and if this is about love, someone's wanting to have a conversation. Someone's wanting to have a conversation. Let's go in and clarify this page of swords. Why is the page of swords here for Capricorn? Have the three of swords. Someone's wanting to talk about the past. They they wanted to talk about why they're sad. I, I'm noticing a lot of tears on this card. Have the sun in reverse. Whoever this is, they they may you know they may um be depressed at this time. They may be totally shut out, totally shut down. I have like a energy of hopelessness here, and there are children on this card. So children could definitely be involved here. Having a concern about my children's future with that 10 of Pentacles coming out. I have the Queen of Cups. You know, I'm emotionally tied to this and I'm emotionally hurt right now. I have the three and the four of cups with the Queen of Wands and the chariot. Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting this message, but <laughs> I'm getting a message that somebody may have asked to have like another girlfriend or another boyfriend. Like if you are in a relationship, somebody wanted like an extra partner and they're up in, in their original person is kind of like, hell no. Are you crazy? And if this is a marriage, same energy. I feel like someone wanted to bring in, if you were in a marriage, some, they may have wanted to bring someone into the family home. Somebody may have presented that offer to you. That's what I'm seeing here. And here's that queen of wands. That's the other person. 
Somebody said, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Are you crazy? We've been putting all this work in and then to hear this is. I don't know. We gonna see by the time we get over here to these queens, but I'll just put that out there for now. But this double keeps showing up. Why is the double here for Capricorn? There's the death. There's the ending. Two of Cups in reverse and the chariot. Some of you, this is a separation. And if this is about um, finance and career, some of you are going to be leaving a job here to go work with somebody else and in, in possibly in a group capacity. Maybe three of you involved with this Three of Pentacles coming out twice. Ten of Pentacles, building wealth, but also family, heavy family energy. We're going to end this marriage. We're going to end this relationship, but we're going to still have to work together for the kids. There's a child here on this card. And there's a mom with the child here on the card with a dad. And a grandma and two dogs. Hmm. Okay, we don't need to clarify the three and the four pinnacles. So let's go in and clarify this ace of pinnacles. Tell me about this ace of pinnacles for Capricorn. Offer of a harmonious balance, either commitment or home life. Home being balance. This is the 1111 card. Angel number 1111. Mm. I got the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. If you are single and you were in a relationship, this was an engagement. I'm picking up on engagement energy. And someone walked away. For those of you who are going to be possibly leaving a job or starting off on a new adventure in your career, whatever it is, if it's your wish come true, you know, what fulfills you emotionally, I still see you being happy. I have a tower here, guys. Whatever this offer is, this was a transformation. This changed, you know, the course of your life. There was something that was upsetting here. Ace of Cups in reverse. Or either, you know, if this is about a career, things haven't been going the way that you hoped that they would. Things have been hard for you. And you haven't been fulfilled emotionally. But I have an ending here with this Ten of Swords. There's a tower. Something's going to end here in order for this Ace of Pentacles to come in. This is a stable offer. Have a page of wands in reverse. That's you being stuck. The world in reverse. Stuck in a cycle. Unable to find success with something. Have an unfinished business, but I'm working on it. Nine of Pentacles. I'm working on something. I'm trying to be patient the moon, but I don't know what the future may hold, what path to take. Maybe something to do with if this is a relationship, some lies, some things that, you know, have been hidden in the past. I just see a lot of stress, a lot of burden, Capricorn. With blame coming out, you know, this could be lots of arguments. I feel like the arguments have progressively gotten worse. I think in the beginning with the fives, things were, you know, a disagreement here or there. And then things got a little more, you know, intense. I got this queen of pentacles in reverse, this queen of swords in reverse. And when I just looked at the deck before this card came out, it was the two of pentacles in reverse. And the five of swords. There's something to do with two energies here and it's two feminine energies 
It's come out twice. Twice. I'm sorry this video is so long, guys, but we're going to have to get, keep going till we get this message. Till we get this message. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Aries. I mean, I'm sorry. Capricorn, this is your energy. But you, this could also be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Tell me about this. Seven of Cups in reverse. There was confusion, but this is the energy of I'm not confused anymore about my options, about my choices. This is possibly your energy, Capricorn, wanting to move forward, not wanting to accept the offer of your other person. And this Queen of Swords could be here to cut them off because of a third party energy. Three of Cups, I got the Queen of Wands and an Empress. For some of you, your person may have had a child outside of the relationship. Or you could even be pregnant right now. And I'm sorry, for somebody, this is someone also had a one night, I mean, not a one night stand. What do you call it? They had a threesome. And I think the other person um, is pregnant. The person who they had the threesome with is pregnant. That's for somebody. It ain't going to be for everybody. I understand that. Seven of Wands in reverse. That's being defensive, having to, you know, defend myself. Or I'm willing to, you know, fight for this person. But let me see. Give me one more card for this Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. But I think this is your energy, Capricorn. I do. Give me one more card for this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I want him to give me these two, seven of swords and the six of swords. If this is your energy, Capricorn, this is the deceit in the relationship with the seven of swords, you know, and this was you, this was you stuck in indecision about do I stay? Do I leave? Do I invest in this person? Seven of pentacles. Tell me about this queen of swords in reverse. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in reverse. This could also be um, two um, feminine energies who are in a relationship together. A lesbian relationship. I'm clarifying the Queen of Swords and I get the Justice card. This could be a Libra. Could also be Gemini or Aquarius. But this is like leaving was the right thing to do. I got the five of pentacles in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. This could be ghosting someone, walking away from someone. And here's the ending, the ten of swords. Okay, guys, really quick. Let's go in and clarify. I'm going to get another deck. I didn't use a lot of those cards. These two queens, and this nine and ten of cups. Let's see what we find out about them. Okay. Okay, for Capricorn spirit, let's get Capricorn's energy. So let's go in. I'm not going to take it, but I have the King of Swords in reverse and the Four of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. This is your energy, Capricorn. And this Queen of Pentacles has come up twice. But I do have three different queens here. All right, for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I have the Fool in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. And this is the same energy, not moving forward. Something may have been revealed to you with this High Priestess card. You may have had a gut feeling about something here. And again, if this is about your career, this is you having to trust your intuition about whatever it is you're feeling pulled to do. Don't hesitate with that energy of the fool. Be willing to take a risk. You have to take the risk, guys. If you want change, if you want successful change, you're going to have to dig deep. 
You have to be courageous here. I have strength in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. And if this is about a relationship, Capricorn, this is you having to be strong to, pop, to walk away from this person. Tell me about this Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Why is that here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? I have justice in reverse. Again, more Libra energy. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Have the Seven of Wands. Again, walls up, setting boundaries for this person. Trying not to lose my shit here. I have the Palace of Cups. Emotions are running high. At the Palace of Cups, you know, that's a place where you figure out your emotions and how you're feeling about something. I have the um, Four of Wands. This is the connection. Hmm. I have the six of swords in reverse. This is, I think this is your person, Capricorn. This is about your person, two of cups in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so whoever you guys are, um, Dealing with, you both have a lot of feminine energy, okay? You both have a lot of feminine energy. Um, I think I've only seen one king the entire reading. That was the king of swords. And he was sitting in reverse with his mean ass. But um, as far as the mouth goes, but I also have the queen of swords here, guys. The queen of wands and the queen of pentacles twice. I don't have a lot of masculine energy here. Even the moon card is here, and that's the feminine energy. All right, and just give us a few cards on the entire situation with these two queens and this nine and ten of cups. Why did this show us face? Why is this here for Capricorn? We have the Hierophant, the Hierophant. Having faith, two of wands, making plans, manifesting, three of wands. You guys have manifested something. I mean, this is sad, though. I feel like for some of you, this was like a soulmate connection here. You manifested this person. You prayed for this person. This person was making you happy at one time. You knew without a doubt that you would finish with this person. And things just went awry. And it's just time to move on. Um, if this, you know, this isn't about love for you. This is about you having to make a decision on whether you're going to leave something in order to move towards something that is more emotionally fulfilling for you. Maybe something that's more in alignment with, you know, your purpose, your values, your belief systems. I have the four of swords and there's that king of swords in reverse, pulling back your energy, possibly from this king of swords. Air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There's the Palace of Swords. I feel like it's nothing but arguments and conversations and confusion. I have the Seven of Cups, but it's in reverse. No more confusion. Finally restoring my hope. I'm trying to close out this cycle. I'm not moving forward. This I'm trying to find balance. Start a new opportunity. After this detachment, but it's still something about threes here, guys. There's some type of interference here. Don't know if this is a person. Again, this was a person. 
This could also have been um, what I just heard is someone who started a relationship with someone and your last person came in and said that they were pregnant or either you just met someone and you um, got someone pregnant just before you met them. Either way, either way, but it's something about being very heavily enthralled in like a threesome, whether this is, you know, this person, maybe this person is just playing both of you, you know, um, giving to both of you and maybe you're just finding out about it. I don't know, guys, you'll have to um, figure out what it means for you. But this has been your reading Capricorn. If you are here, you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. All right, Capricorn, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll catch you on your next read.